Hi, this is Brett Hendricks, and I am the founder and the president of Changing Lanes Ministries. This is the first of hopefully many videos that you will be seeing, and I just want to offer hope and encouragement to each one of you that is struggling with either sexual addiction or something in your life that you just can't seem to let go of. As you can see on my hat here, I'm a Kansas City Royals fan, and right now, um, they're the small guy doing some amazing things. I relate with this team because I've been following them since I was young, and this is somebody that they always seem to lose, that nothing seems to go right, but they don't lose their identity. They stay who they are. They don't try to be somebody else. What I love about this team is they're not the big giants. They're not the ones that crush the home runs, but they're somebody that actually goes out and knows who they are, and it's because of who they are that they're finally able to do something amazing. It wasn't quick, it wasn't spontaneous, but it was a slow process. They do the little things. They play defense, they run bases, they have great pitching, which those things may not mean anything to you, but they're part of being a team. And those are their strengths, and they take their strengths to be able to have victory. See, that's the same for you and me. We all have the things we want to do, the things we desire to do, the things that would make us look like somebody else. But when we do those things, we always fail, and we're going to struggle. But when we have something that's even more, we understand what God has given us, to understand that through all of the losses, all of the pains that we've had, where we've messed up, we haven't done it right, that there is something more. And when we see what God has given us, we can let go of that past of not understanding and trying to do things in our own way to fulfill our needs, to give us the victory that we want but then to trust in Him. So there's a verse I want to give you today, and I want to read it to you. It's 2 Corinthians 12, 9, in verses 10 as well. But this is Paul speaking, and he says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, I am strong. I know you're having a tough day. I know you might be struggling with your spouse, that you may have lost your job, that your kids have abandoned the family. I don't know what it is that's going on today. But what I do know is you have a Father, a Lord that loves you so much that He wants to help you through this. And He has given you the ability to go through it. He will not give you something beyond what you can bear, no matter how hard it looks. I leave you with the encouragement that in those weaknesses that you have right now that you will find His strength. May God bless you and take you exactly where he wants you to go.